Hi Capricorn, welcome back. This is going to be your March 2023 reading. We're going to see what messages need to come through for you. What is coming towards you during the month of March. Always take what resonates and then at any time you would like me to tune in to just your energy, just click on the link below in the description box. It will take you over to my Etsy shop and over there I offer a variety of readings. I am still currently giving away the three free love readings for the month of February. Um, so for those of you that are new, I'm grateful you're here. Please go ahead and subscribe. And each month I do a giveaway. This month was three free readings. Um, next month I will have something different that I offer. Um, around the holidays I did monetary gift cards. Just a way of giving back for my journey here. So... You could take part in all of the monthly giveaways by being a subscriber and leaving a heart emoji this month. New and returning subscribers leaving a heart emoji in the comment section of every reading that you view of mine during the month of February. I will be reaching out to you initially through YouTube, so please make sure your notifications are on. And then I'll send you the link to my Etsy shop. Over there it's protected. It'll say contact shop owner. You just contact the, me and let me know that you're one of the people that I reached out to for randomly um, choosing you at the end of the month for the free reading. All right. What is coming towards you for March for my Capricorns? Going the distance. Going the distance to something that's going to leave you keep it, feel, leave you feeling completely happy. Invigorated, happy, vibrant. Let's see what that is. All right. For my Capricorns, what is coming towards them? That's 68. Wombat spirit, be at home. Spending some time within your own sacred space, with what you created as a home for yourself, within your soul and within your physical environment, nurturing those connections during the month of March that feel like home. Being maybe with someone specific that feels like home. Where you can be your true self, be completely vulnerable and letting them see your true self. All right, we got 44, Archangel Seraphiel, Archangel of the Resurrection, truth and love. Very soon something is happening. I burn up blocks to ascension and turn the energy of negative emotions into productive actions you can take. 4-4 four, four means you're not alone, means you're on the right path. Exactly what I saw during my spiritual awakening. 444. Okay, your energy. Ten of Cups, being at home with the Wombat Spirit. I feel like you may already be um, with a partner that you feel is at home. A storybook ending. You may be thinking of a certain specific person that feels like your storybook ending. But like I said, first of all, we have double rainbows here. And remember in Happy Happy, that card at the bottom, there was like a, a rainbow coming from her because of how happy she is. I feel like there's blessings and blessings coming to you, abundance coming to you. You're feeling emotionally content in the month of March. Pisces energy. So you might have Pisces in your chart or you're dealing with a Pisces. Current situation, the strength card, Leo energy. Closing out chapters in your life that no longer belong open. That they don't belong in your space. 
You're clearing out that space so you can allow those new blessings and new opportunities to come into your life. You may have Leo in your chart. Yeah, you're overcoming some struggles. Some struggles, some competition of some sort. Past energy, there has been an ending. Scorpio energy. But what happens, what's amazing that happens with the death card is a transformation. Something very triggering that brings you happiness in this month. Coming out of feeling left out in the cold. For those of you that might be struggling with finances, with the five of coins, it's a temporary situation with happy, happy. There's something coming towards you. It's like you don't even understand how good it's going to be. Could be a job offer. Could be a promotion. It could be like that student loan or extra money coming in for some of you so you can go to school. Some kind of scholarship of some sort. Yeah, see, you're coming out of emotional pain. Spirit, what is going to be the overall outcome? All right, let's see. Well, we got the lovers here. So this is definitely union with somebody, Gemini, Gemini energy. But this is a big decision also that you're going to have to make in the month of March. Where you might have been, you know, indecisive. Where you may not have wanted to lower your swords. Libra energy. Um, make a decision on something. Maybe if I just keep myself blinded, maybe it'll go away. Maybe the situation will change. It's like you didn't want to make any direct action for it to happen. Now there is going to be movement. You could be dealing with an air sign. We have air, fire, air, fire, and we have everything here. Air, fire, water, and earth. So take that as like whatever else is in your chart, your other placements. But you're moving very quickly towards something. And like I said, it's of abundance. So for those of you that are suffering from a financial loss or you feel things are tight, there's going to, like I said, it's a temporary situation. There's going to be a brand new beginning. I feel a lot of miracles, blessings and miracles in March. Feeling very abundant. Definitely an offer coming your way. All right, please clarify the Ten of Cups for Capricorn's energy. Queen of Wands. Definitely might be dealing with a fire sign. Somebody that left you feel... Yeah, somebody that might have ghosted you. Caused you this internal pain. Why the Strength card with the Five of Wands? Queen of Coins, there you are Capricorn. For some of you, you might resonate with the same sex because there's the Queen of Wands and the Queen of Coins. But I feel where there has been a distance between you and someone, it's like now you realize that you want to fight for this connection. Look, 777, guys. Definitely look at the meaning, the spiritual meaning of 777. With the way this falls out like this, I feel like somebody's truly manifesting a new beginning with you. Maybe putting on that, um, that facade that they're not interested. But deep down, yeah, they keep thinking about a union with you. I feel like you found them very sexy and very confident when they were in your energy. Why the Five of Wands? The Death card of the Five of Coins. It might have been somebody that you um, dealt with in your place of employment. You might have met them through business. It could have made things complicated. I 
for those of you that it's about finances, I'm telling you somebody is noticing you, noticing the work you do, noticing your talents, and offering you something great in the month of March. Opportunity. You're feeling emotionally content. But I also feel like you're feeling emotionally content around your family. Like what I said, be at home. Emotionally content with those people that get you. And why is the Three of Swords here? What is this pain? The Capricorn. You could have dealt with a water sign in the past that caused you pain. I feel like they may have been younger than you. Who might have ghosted you. And I feel in the month of March, some of you are meeting a fire energy. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. Where you might have been closed off and not wanting to put yourself out there because of the pain of the obstacles. It's now like you're ready to lower your swords and trust this person. They're coming in very quickly. For those of you that it's about love, they're coming in very quickly. You might be trying to heal something with this water sign and this fire sign comes into your life and you need, you need to make a decision. Please clarify the two of swords, the knight of swords, and the ace of coins. Yeah, I feel like a fire sign <clears throat> is taking that leap of faith towards you. For those of you that are completely single, I feel like there's a, there's a few offers coming towards you in the month of March. You may already have them in your, in your energy as we speak. But there's one person that wants to go the distance with you. There's one burden that will go through the obstacles and the burdens with you. Put that fight in. Go the distance. All right. Spirit, for my Capricorns, what else do you have? For my Capricorns. The world, an, an ending to bring about a brand new beginning, which is going to be very successful. Add to your security, your stability. Happiness with this person. Union. I definitely feel like there's somebody who's missing you that like can't wait to speak to you. Two of coins. See, it's like you may go back and forth with this communication once it comes in. It's like, you know, you are trying to find your balance. You're trying to clear out your energy. Um, you cleared out this person's energy from your life because it was not resonating at the time. And now here they are. Yeah. This person felt like home to you. And now they have so much regret. All right, we'll take them. They walked away. But look what they're feeling. The Ten of Cups twice. They are feeling like you're their missed opportunity. Five of Wands. Man, they are struggling with this. They want to, like, pick up the pieces and put it back together. Why the Ten of Cups spirit twice? Ten of Coins. We have 10, 10, 10 here. Definitely an ending to bring about this brand new beginning. And why the five of wands twice? The fool in reverse. I feel like they procrastinate it. They were feeling restless. It's like they had, like, you know, they felt that there was more out there. They didn't want to offer long term. And like I said, for those of you that it's about finances, 
You're definitely going to feel abundant by the end of March. A brand new beginning for you by the end of March. Where you felt defeated, whether it was in love or finances. Completely different energy by the end of the month. All right, spirit. Oh, look, heart and home. And look at this, rings. I really feel like somebody that you may have lived with that you felt like was home, that you just completely opened up to. You wanted to go to the distance with this person and it's like they fell short. But it's developing over time. They had to feel the emptiness of missing you, of missing your energy every day. See how like it's almost the bottom forms a heart? It's like they had to feel that to realize what you mean to them. Anything else for my Capricorns? Yeah, they might have seemed emotionally unavailable or disinterested. What else? Thank you, Spirit. Empty nest. But I got to tell you, you really focused on yourself during this time. You really made um, a sacred space for yourself and a solid, solid foundation for yourself. You, I feel, if you're not currently healing, you went through that process already. You healed. You overcame those obstacles. And now this person presents himself to you. But like I said, for some of you, you might have a few offers coming in. And they're one of them. And it's like now you have that discussion of, like, why now? I'm not going to take all of these, but I'm going to shuffle through these little, like this little part that fell out and see what one needed to come out. All right, maybe they, chess, look at this. Making a strategic move on how they're going to work their way back into your life. They could take care of themselves. Could be a bodybuilder. Work out at the gym a lot. Maybe you met this person at the gym. But it's like they, the strength, the power that they want, they have now within them. Your energy. Save roadblock. This person might have come from situations in their past that was very difficult for them to overcome, for them to heal from. You know, could stem from as a child where their inner child was broken, where they were afraid to be all in and put their swords down and let their heart be open. They, could, they didn't want to believe that you, Capricorn, could be home to them. That would make them feel too vulnerable. It's like they had limited eyesight. Here's a cat and a dog. For some of you, you may have a cat, they may have a dog, you may have both. But the roadblocks are being removed for the two of you. I wasn't going to take that whole deck. And then I realized how it was playing out. And I thought, no, it needs to be a part of your reading. That's why they all fell out. All right, spare a few more clear fires for Capricorn chain chain of events that will affect your life i feel like the the way it ended between the two of you the emotional pain was very triggering for them but i feel like it was also a transformation within you to move further along in your journey december their birthday could be around december maybe a sagittarius but then it's your birthday too it could be the last time you spoke to them Look, see, there is love here. This person coming towards you, they miss you so much. They definitely feel like you're their home. You're their end person, their end game. And remember, chess was here, their end game. An exciting event. 
One last clarifier. An angel's spiritual guidance, protection from harm. Remember, Archangel of the Resurrection, the truth and love coming towards you. This is being protected, Capricorn. All right, let's see what we got for the initials. Look for yours. Look for someone you may be thinking about. C, D, I, Q, N, Natalie, Nancy, W, Wyatt, S, Samantha, blank Scrabble tile, R, Ray, Rebecca, Ron, Y, Yana, G, George, Greg, and all the, S, the, all the other ones are repeats. All right, guys, this is your March reading. I will be back for many more readings if you're interested in the giveaways that I do each month. Um, just go ahead and subscribe and leave a heart emoji. And for those of you that are my returning subscribers, guys, leave that heart emoji. If you're not picked, you know, a month or maybe two months, I'm going to keep doing this. So at some point, you know, your chance even, you know, you have greater chance of me picking your name. Um, I do pay attention to all the people that return, you know, loyally to each giveaway, to my readings, leave comments of, you know, inspiration. And also, um, like I said, if this resonates or if you need your own clarity, just visit my Etsy shop. I'm being told my prices are way too cheap. So I'm assuming that they're very reasonable. But I just don't want to offer a lot to bring somebody guidance. I needed it at one point, which is what led me here. All right, love and light, guys. Have a great March. Have a great weekend. Definitely will be back soon.